In this video, we will show you two methods to determine the biofringence of man-made fibers. Method 1 – using the michel levy color chart. Method 2 – by precise measurement of the retardation using a tilting compensator. You will need a polarization microscope with a rotating stage, a list of the optical properties of different fiber types, a michel levy color chart for method number 1 and a barrack tilting compensator for method number 2. Place the slide with the fiber sample on the microscope stage. Initially, you have to measure the thickness of the fiber. This fiber is 29.4 micrometer thick, 6 graduations of 4.9 micrometers, and it has a round cross-sectional shape. Move the area of interest into the center of the crosshairs. Insert the polarizer and the analyzer. Make sure they are perfectly crossed. The background has to be black. Rotate the rotating stage to find the extinction position, so that the fiber appears dark. Lock the stage position to activate the 45 degree click stop of the stage and rotate the stage by 45 degrees, one click, to move the sample into the bright position. This fiber has intense interference colors, hence it has a medium biofringence. Assess the interference color in the center of the fiber at its maximum thickness with the aid of the Michel Levy chart. In this example we see a third order flash color pink. In the color chart find the point where the sample thickness line, approximately 30 micrometers, meets our third order pink. Draw a virtual line crossing this point and the origin of the graph. Now you can read the biofringence value delta n from the chart. Here delta n is 0.05. Now we will determine the biofringence of the same fiber with the tilting compensator. With the fiber in bright position, insert the compensator into the slot above the objective revolving nose piece. Tilt the compensator blade by rotating the drum until the center of the fiber appears dark. Now the retardation is completely compensated. You may now also read the background color at the point of extinction and transfer it to the color chart. However, we will continue with the precise calculation of the biofringence. Read the compensator value at the compensation position. Here 8.7 degrees. Note this value down as I1. Rotate the compensator drum in the opposite direction until the retardation is completely compensated. Here 8.9 degrees. Note this value down as I2. The exact procedure to determine the biofringence is specific to the compensator model. Please refer to the documentation of your compensator. In our case, the first step is to add the two readings of the compensator, I1 and I2. 8.7 plus 8.9 degrees makes 17.6 degrees. In the next step, look up the retardation value for 17.6 degrees in the respective table provided in the documentation of the compensator. 235.2 nanometers. And for this particular compensator, we have to multiply the retardation by a specific correction factor, 6.419. The resulting retardation is 1509.75 nanometers. Now we can determine the biofringence by dividing the retardation, 1509.75 nanometers, by the thickness of the fiber, 29400 nanometers. The resulting biofringence is 0.051. By looking up the biofringence value of 0.05 to 0.051 in a chart of the optical properties of fibers, we can broadly classify this fiber type as polyolefine or polyamid. This sample is a polyamid fiber. In this example, the biofringence values obtained from the two methods are very similar. 0.05 with the Michel Levy chart versus 0.051 with the compensator. However, the compensator method is a more exact measurement of the retardation. Additionally, estimating the interference colors can be difficult, especially with different color orders or with pale colors. We can observe this in our second example using a different fiber type.
Firstly, find the extinction position. Lock the stage and rotate the fiber to the bright position. This fiber has a diameter of 34 micrometers and shows a homogeneous first order gray interference color. Thus it has a low biofringence. In this case it is very difficult to determine the exact color shade on the Michel Levy chart. We read a delta N of 0.007. Now we will also determine the biofringence of this fiber with the tilting compensator. With the fiber in bright position, insert the compensator. Here we read the compensator values. I1 is 1.8 degrees and I2 is 2.0 degrees. By adding them up, we get 3.8 degrees. After looking up the retardation value and the correction factor, calculate the retardation. Here it is 70.61 nanometers. And finally, divide the retardation by the thickness of the fiber. The resulting biofringence is 0.002. In the second example, the biofringence values obtained from the two methods are quite different. 0.007 with the Michel Levy chart versus 0.002 with the compensator. This is because an error in the estimation of the interference color can have a big effect on the biofringence reading in the color chart. Accordingly, for the classification of the fiber type, rely on the more exact measurement. The biofringence obtained with the compensator. The biofringence of 0.002 points towards acetate or acrylic. This is indeed an acrylic fiber.